Hello, I'm Eddie and today we'll be making mulled wine. What you'll need is star anise, cloves, cinnamon stick, bay leaves, vanilla pod, nutmeg, cardamom, ginger, lemon, clementine, apple juice, sugar and of course the red wine. Now some people say you should use a cheap red wine. I disagree, especially when you're using all these amazing ingredients. Why not use a decent Australian Shiraz or maybe a Zinfandel from California? Into a pan, dry roast off some of the spices. This really helps bring out the amazing aromatic oils. Start with the cloves, add your cloves, cinnamon stick, cardamom pods, nutmeg once it starts to smoke add the sugar and cover with the apple juice vanilla pod split it down the middle add that the zest of a lemon star anise bay leaves ginger small thumb, the juice and zest of two clementines, leave this to infuse for at least 10 minutes. This will give you a wonderfully intense syrup, the perfect base to add your red wine. Once you've added the red wine, the biggest mistake people make is they overheat it, losing all those amazing flavours and alcohol. One rule is to remember mulled wine should be served warm and not hot and ready to be drunk immediately. Garnish with a couple of wheels of clementine and star anise. There we have it. The best mulled wine ever. Today we will be making more delicious and well wine in the water bottle, bottle which my time bartending syrup. Full stop. New paragraph. The ballsy, ballsy. No, bold. Really big, ripe, and bold. I'm gonna go for a walk. See you in a bit.